hours after undergoing major spinal surgery, Karolina is walking. Doctors in the Polish city of Wrocław have fitted her with a titanium implant that was made by a 3D printer. At 26, the former gymnast is hopeful that the procedure will be life-changing. My name is Karolina. I had an accident in the childhood, probably. Um, I had a surgery on the last uh, Thursday. They, I had an implant between um, my L5 vertical and S1. And I hope in the future I could have normal life and maybe have a baby also. 75,000 patients like Carolina have been able to benefit from such 3D printed implants thanks to the Spine of the Future project. The program has a total budget of 7.9 million euros, of which almost 60% was funded by the EU's cohesion policy. The spinal implants are designed and manufactured by a company called LFC near the Polish city of Zielona Góra. 60 people work at the firm. In addition to making implants, LFC also works closely with medics to produce the specialist surgical instruments. The cervical and lumbar vertebrae are considered to be the two regions of the spine which are particularly delicate. This instrument is for lumbar spine. It is designed for measuring of uh, intervertebral space uh, in lumbar spine. Uh, according to this instrument, doctor uh, choose proper size of implant. Back in Wrocław, these neurosurgeons are preparing for the operating theatre. But what does the future hold for these types of procedures? The next stage of cooperation will be the so-called medically personalised factor, which means that the spine implants will be produced by a 3D printer for each patient, taking into account his or her anatomy and personal morphology. Marek had an implant inserted only five weeks ago. Since then, he's not only regained sensitivity and strength in his hands, but also a joy for life. Following the surgery, I feel much better. I have strong feeling in my hands. I can definitely shake someone's hand with much more strength. I want to return to acrobatic sports and start enjoying life.